So uh, my name is Luciano. I'll be talking with you guys today about uh, mentoring and how that can uh, help you guys uh, get started with open source. I think I see a lot of like familiar faces, so they are probably more like on the mentoring side, but uh, uh, probably useful for some of the others on as well. Uh, I work with a data set, as a data science platform architect at IBM, uh, on, and have been working with open source for uh, just at a patch for like over 10 years has been participating on various projects and uh, contributing as an IC and also as a mentor in, in different projects. Uh, if you guys want to reach me, questions or anything, let me know. Uh, these are all things that you can find, uh, find myself. And I work at the Spark Technology Center. The only thing I want to mention here is like, it's very, uh, I'm very glad to be working there. It's like, a, it's very it's rare to you to go to an organization that kind of like allow you to spend pretty much 100% of your time working open source. So I'm really glad to have that opportunity. I have been doing that for, for a little while already, so it's uh, very good. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, Condev, uh, which is the Apache Community Development uh, PMC, uh, why mentoring, some of the available programs, and how they, they work, kind of thing. Uh, how you can go about finding mentors, and how to go about finding project ideas uh, if you want to start contributing. Uh, just to anyone here I mean, that has not been contributing to open source, that is kind of new or just getting started with open source. Okay. So I think today, if we look, I mean, uh, uh, everywhere I go and, and, and every type of project that I see, uh, open source is it's, it's here to stay. I mean, uh, if, if I'm building services at IBM, if I'm more talking with other folks, uh, it's very rarely to see a project started from scratch not utilizing open source. So uh, I think getting involved with open source is something that we'll have to do either today or, or, or tomorrow and, and get very familiar with that. It's very good. Uh, and, and what is beneficial to get involved with uh, for the, the individual? I mean, you learn uh, new skills, new technology, uh, you'll get a lot of visibility as well. It's not like, if, if you're working on a proprietary software, not, not going to the community, you just have the recognition maybe like of 10 or, or, or 20 uh, people that work in the with you. Uh, when you start working on communities, let's say an Apache project uh, like Spark, where you have uh, people all over the world and start becoming committed, I think that's all, uh, you're, you're building uh, uh, your, your visibility outside for, for everybody to see how you're performing, you know your skills, but you're also contributing to the community for a project that you might be using internally. Uh, usually, people that come from the background of, of building just like proprietary software, they will tend, and I have seen a lot of that, they will tend just to like fork and make the fixes internally. So if you're familiar or if you know people that are doing that, maybe try to uh, tell them what is some of the benefits try to get them to come to the community, provide those patches, make them the contributions to get the software better. And for the company, it's the same thing. You, you have the name of the company, uh, lots of uh, people that are looking for jobs and things like that. Uh, they will recognize companies that are working on open source. Uh, they also get a competitive edge. You're not getting a software that like three people is working on. Uh, it's basically tested and, and gone through use case or scenarios from different uh, companies from all over the world, which uh, makes the quality, makes that, uh, that software very uh, much more robust, much, uh, support much different use cases. And uh, one of the things that we did at uh, the Apache was basically the creation of the Community uh, Development EMC. I think I still remember when we had that uh, initial meeting uh, in one of the Apache Pond and we decided that we were going to go for that. Uh, the idea is, we were so, uh, we were, Apache was a very successful uh, foundation of projects and everything, and, and why was that? Mostly around uh, the way we do things, what we call the Apache way, uh, but also we really uh, value community over code. I mean, having a piece of code that uh, uh, has no bugs or whatever, but like not really anyone that maintain and, and, and get that project going forward, uh, it might not be very helpful. Have a community that goes around and, and values the project, 
I think it's very important because uh, if uh, I mean, and, and life change uh, the, the the things that you are doing. So, like, if one or two people that are uh, contributing have to kind of like go away or, or step aside, you still get that project continue. You're still gonna have a uh, life into the project. Uh, so the the uh, the Comdev PMC, what we call, is basically the idea to promote that, get more community involvement, get things uh, in a in a way that benefits all the projects. And in the central way, instead of like each project trying to go and do their community uh, outreach, the, the, the Comdev tries to centralize, tries to get people. Uh, looking to the community and, and, and uh, getting that. Thing. So basically, if you, if you want to try to summary the, the kind of mission, uh, foster a great community, help others understand uh, the Apache way, so how Apache works, uh, and then give you confidence to contribute. Uh, but why do we need confidence to contribute? Why, why people maybe kind of like uh, get afraid to come into software. I mean, uh, I've been working on IBM for a very, very long time. And I still today uh, talk with people that are building very uh, useful and, and good technologies inside IBM as proprietary software that when we start talking about open source and that you have to come to a mailing list to discuss ideas, or, or come and, and give it a talk on, on, on the things that they are doing so that people start to know about the technology and can come and contribute to your project. They, they, they are really afraid of doing that. It's, it's, they, they write the software, the software is good, but like, I think uh, the community aspect is, is, really, is really complicated. So uh, what I see when I talk to those folks is basically this is how they see open source. It's like really scary thing for them. And then when I start talking with them on the things that they have to do, that's how I see them. Like very kind of like crying baby, no, I, I, I don't want to do that, come on. And, and, and it's, it's very complicated and it's a very long discussion when we do that for the first time. But then you start becoming a mentor to them. You start to tell them like, well, maybe how, this is how you do things, or maybe this is the benefits that you're going to have. And what started with having that, that thing that was really scary, well, it's kind of okay now. And you start seeing them get a little bit happier, uh, they being able to come, uh, uh, go to the mailing list, maybe they will send one email per week, uh, but you encourage them and you get them uh, and, and then they will do that collaboration on the community. They will start understanding that they need to grow that community. And that's like some of the things uh, uh, that the mentors can bring to the students or maybe, uh, they, can, they can bring to people that are starting to get uh, involved in open source. But, uh, I mean, this is kind of like the side from uh, uh, the students and how mentors can help them. But what is in that for the mentors? Uh, and then the, the next two slides, I kind of like saw a presentation that Rich Point did, uh, I think a couple months ago, uh, at a conference in LA, and I forgot the name. And the idea is, I mean, uh, anyone knows the picture and who is there? <laughs> you were, you was there, so. <laughs> uh, so this is Socrates, I think. If you know the name, I mean, now it's a very uh, famous. But Socrates uh, believed that writing down and, and doing any kind of like things around the things that he was doing, it was really detriment to the, 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 the thoughts and, and, and the constructive uh, thoughts that, they, that he had. So he pretty much never write down anything that he was doing. Uh, and everything he, he was passing to uh, what we call disciples or, or mentees, uh, on talks or on lectures, and the way that you, we come to know about him up to today is from the work that the, all the disciples, disciples, the people that was uh, learning from him, started to writing down and passing that to generations. So uh, I see as a mentor uh, also being able to pass his legacy, pass the 
uh, things that he's doing, the, the technology that you know, and all the knowledge that he has around community, not only around technologies, to uh, the other people, and then that goes and goes and goes. And just like uh, uh, some names, so Socrates uh, mentor, uh, mentor Plato, which then mentor Aristotle's, and you see that how that come, uh, start going, and we know about them all uh, up to today. So when we talk about mentoring, like uh, what we should expect, like if you if you if you get a mentor, what you should expect from the mentor. So it's not that the mentor is going to go and give you all the technical details and how to do those things. I mean, there are mentors that have the ability of that, but there are mentors that are helping you uh, kind of like in the community aspect, not necessarily uh, is the area of expertise, of his technical expertise. So you, you will start getting help with uh, things around the project dynamics, how that works, areas that needs improvement, or areas that kind of like needs to get developed further, which is an opportunity for you to start contributing. Uh, also, I think a lot of people that come and basically say, well, this is not working for me, what should I do? I mean, there are ways that a uh, question uh, can be asked where you will see things really, you will get attention and you will see the, 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 the responses much faster. Uh, and I think what is in, uh, what does the mentor expect for a student? I mean, particularly myself, and this is my, my own opinion, when I do uh, uh, mentoring, I, I basically don't expect anything. I, I really like the notion of like paying it forward, but what really, uh, I, I get really glad when, for example, uh, I was on the last Apache uh, members meeting, and I was seeing like a, a guy that was being um, <coughs> uh, voted as a member, and he started working in Apache It Google Summer of Code as my kind of like main team. Those kind of things where you see the guys taking and now being a member, contributing to multiple projects, that those kind of things are really rewarding for me. So uh, let's take a look at, for example, some of the projects, uh, if you really to mentor, or if you're looking for a mentor, what are some of the programs that are available uh, that we participate at Apache, but not only at Apache, uh, in a general way as well. So we have Google Summer of Code. Uh, the Google Summer of Code basically runs around uh, the, the, the summer vacation from the US, and it's intended for uh, a college uh, or university students. Uh, and you need to be 18 years or older, uh, and you need, thank you, and it, and you need to be uh, enrolled in a university uh, at the time that you enroll into your uh, into the program. Uh, in terms of uh, some stats here, in 2007 we had uh, around 1,300 students uh, accepted from 72 uh, different countries, uh, 1,600 uh, active mentors, uh, 198 open source organizations and about 86% uh, overall success uh, rate. And the idea here is Google will pay a, a, a stipend to the student uh, to get them to know the community, know how to work on open source uh, early kind of like in their career or, or before even they started working uh, so that they get, they get familiar on, on, on contributing and building uh, open source projects. Uh, and something that uh, just Usually it takes a little while to happen, but uh, it was already announced that there is going to be a uh, Google Summer of Code 2018. So if you guys uh, are students or if you guys know the students, uh, you can start uh, collaborating and trying to get them involved. And the way the projects, the, the, the workflow to get accepted work, uh, and this is common to all of the uh, programs that, that, that I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to go a little bit into details here. And, on the next slides, I'm going to basically say uh, uh, it's the same way. Uh, but then projects, let's say, uh, inside Apache, they will create ideas, project ideas uh, in Jira and tag them properly. Then at some point, the students come, they will look into those ideas, they will look into areas that uh, they want to contribute, and they will pro uh, provide a project proposal that then get ranked by uh, the people with the mentors and the administrators uh, on the Apache side, which then uh, 
based on the slots that Google gives to each of the organization, uh, those will get basically fulfilled by the students based on their ranking. Uh, some of the kind of like uh, tips for succeeding at uh, Google Summer of Code. I think in terms of the project, just as early as possible, start getting your project ideas out. Uh, start uh, uh, with the proper uh, label so that it starts getting visible to students. And talk about those or mention those uh, on meetups and, and community outreach that programs that you guys are doing. And I think for the students, the idea is to uh, early on, uh, as early as possible, start coming to the project, uh, know how the community uh, works, uh, get into contact with the possible mentor, and start uh, trying to contribute to small jars, small things, just to get a feeling of how it is. That really counts towards uh, getting accepted and, and being successful at uh, the Google Summer Code, and at least on how we do it in Apache. Uh, here are mostly uh, references in, uh, in case you want to get more, uh, more information. Google Code In, it's a very sim similar uh, project. It basically, uh, it's for uh, students between the age 13 and 17, so like kind of high schoolers. And the tasks are not necessarily a, a very deep code task. They are sometimes documentation and things like that. Uh, and I've seen that Apache have uh, participated in a couple of times in this project. Uh, similar uh, acceptance uh, workflow, uh, similar kind of like a, a success and tips for, for projects and in students. Uh, one of the projects that are not necessarily specific for students is the outreach. This used to be called the uh, outreach program for women, women uh, run by uh, you know and uh, in 2016 or 15 I think they became more this kind of like outreach uh, project that is it kind of grow uh, more more generic and it basically <coughs> is for minority groups uh, in terms of like uh, uh, women uh, African Americans and those uh, uh, kind of considered uh, minority groups on tech. And this mostly becomes kind of an internship during the summertime. So a couple of uh, more information here if you're interested in on getting into it. Uh, similar uh, workflow, basically they, they, they all do a similar workflow in terms of acceptance of the students. <coughs> Main thing is uh, the outreach uh, website if you guys want to learn a little bit more. Uh, we also try to do this in Apache. We have a documented process on doing this. I think we, we have done uh, once and we are, I think we might be doing it twice uh, soon. And the idea is get some of the people that uh, are mentoring students, are mentoring folks, uh, and get not necessarily only students, but people in the industry that are not so familiar with open source to come and, and uh, contribute to Apache projects and get familiar with that. Uh, I run the ICFOS uh, pilot program uh, with a uh, government in India uh, a few years ago and I think right now there is discussion from a University of uh, Vigo that are interested in doing that with some of their students. I, 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 I'm following uh, uh, the thread but I think they, they try to do that for uh, next year. Um, And we talk a lot now for uh, uh, mentees and then with students and things like that. There is also like the, the time where you want to build a community around your project. And the way to do that in Apache is through the Apache Incubator. Uh, the idea here is like any project or code base that are trying to enter Apache needs to go through incubation. Uh, you, you need to get a champion and at least three mentors to help you navigate and understand the Apache way, uh, be able to run uh, uh, releases successfully uh, with all the legal things uh, properly done. Uh, so this is uh, more for the mentor side that are trying to look for opportunities. Uh, I think we always need uh, another extra hand in the Apache incubator. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, 
just some of the restrictions. You, you need to be a member of the IPMC. And for uh, Apache members, get it as an uh, IPMC. Uh, it's really easy, just a matter of sending an email. Uh, for those that uh, wanted, to get a uh, wanted to be a mentor, have, have experience with, let's say, a different policy in the past, but are not a member yet, sometimes uh, by merit group, uh, the IPMC will vote to those guys as part of the IPMC. Uh, for finding mentors, uh, usually you uh, have a relationship, know someone, but if not, there is this app, like for example, if you want to know someone that speaks your language, is close to you, uh, you can go into this and uh, find local mentors. Uh, oh, sorry. You want to take a picture? Okay. <coughs> and uh, for finding, uh, I'm running out of time, so like that, let's, let me go quickly on the next uh, two or three slides. Finding project ideas, I mentioned, uh, so we can go and run a query in Jira uh, with the proper uh, tags. Uh, sometimes we use mentoring for generic ones, and we have uh, the GSOC like in, in the year for uh, the ones that you're doing. Uh, there is also uh, open hatch that are more generic ideas for projects that are outside. And I think one of the things that I want to mention here is like, it's not only about uh, uh, technology. Uh, these are just like three examples of people that are today like members of the, the Apache Software Foundation are running like all the ASF like uh, communications or like Sarah that is running uh, uh, the CONDEV, they all have mostly contributed uh, around community, around documentation, around uh, uh, communications. So it's not all about code, it's about the community and the value that you bring to the community. So you can come and contribute in much more different ways than just have, uh, bringing uh, code. Uh, so uh, that's what I wanted to, to share. If you have questions, I might be running out of time, so you can get me uh, out of the outside and, and we can chat. Thank you very much.